Five more bodies have been retrieved from Lake Victoria on Wednesday, raising the death toll of the Homa Bay boat tragedy to seven. Family and friends of those suspected to have boarded the ill-fated vessel pitched camp at the Pier Beach on Wednesday, even as the county leadership issued a warning against those violating water safety protocols. After it emerged that the boat had contravened basic rules such as issuing life jackets to passengers. Let's get more from our very own Laura Tieno. Wednesday morning at Pia Beach in Homa Bay County, Bishop Vincent Adobo held special prayers at the shoals of Lake Victoria. Eight of the 19 passengers that were reportedly aboard the vessel that capsized on Tuesday evening were members of his church who were heading to Nduru for a week-long prayer meeting. A journey that was cut short just 400 meters from the beach. According to eyewitnesses, the ill-fated vessel was reportedly overloaded with both passengers and cargo with no person on board wearing a life jacket. However, the boat's coxswain refuted these claims, alleging that the accident was caused by bad weather. So, Confirming the incident, Homa Bay County Commissioner Moses Lilan issued a stern warning to those contravening maritime transport protocol, vowing to start a crackdown to nab those found culpable. We also want to read out those people who have always taken advantage of the fact that maybe there is less policing in the lake. Uh, we are bringing on board the Kenya Coast Guards. We are also bringing on board the Kenya Maritime Authority to ensure that uh, we bring back safety and sanity in the lake. We know it is very difficult to monitor what happens in the lake. We don't have weighing machines in the lake. We are not there when they are loading. But we want to educate our people to use safety devices. If they had safety vests, probably the fatality would not have been as high as it is now. With the search operation entering its second day, the question of water safety has once again arose with stakeholders calling for renewed sensitization of communities living around the lake to practice safety when going out to the waters. Laura Tieno, Citizen TV, Homa Bay County.